guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how to make this card so i'm taking the rainbow shine by my favorite things my circle nesting dies which is seven centimeters wide and then my six by four inch card i'm taking my dovecraft embossing powder powder ink and then my taylor expressions white and i just stamped my sentiment over some baby pink color which i used with pearl markers I just stamped my image with some tuxedo black ink and then I'm also going to color this in so I'll insert a time frame and I do apologize for all the background noise I really do apologize it seems every time I want to do a voiceover everything seems to go hectic um but I'll insert some music as well so you don't have to listen to the background noise but I'll talk to you guys in a second I just brought in my scissors and I just cut the image out and then I also die cut my circle which is seven centimeters and I'm gonna bring in Bahama blue ink by memento and I'm just gonna do some ink blending onto there so this card was inspired I just googled my favorite things rain or shine and it came up so that picture is linked in my description so it will have my Instagram my Facebook group and then the inspiration so if you want to check out the original you can do and yeah so i'm going to speed this up a little bit um so you guys don't really have to sit there too long but i will talk to you guys in a second so see you soon I've done that I just brought in my spectrum no sparkle pen and also you'll see that I used some white gel pen to make rain droplets so I added the spectrum no sparkle pen just so it looked a little glycerine glycerine <laughs> that's not even a word um, <laughs> um just so it looked a little bit more like rain I guess you could say and I love how this card turned out it's very simplistic you know I'm one of those people that can't really deal too well with too much white on a card so when I saw this card, I was like, oh, that goes against my own frame of mind. So anyways, I brought in my multi matte medium glue. I'm just going to glue everything down. And then I use my 3D foam adhesive squares to prop up the little girl. And honestly, this card was probably really simple. I made this on the same day I made a Halloween card. So I managed to get two videos done that day. So I do get questioned a lot about how I get so many videos filmed. Um, honestly, it's <laughs> it's not really a struggle, but you know, once I set my mind to something, it gets done. So, anyways, I'm gonna stick down my image, and I was gonna replace her here, and then I was like, no, she needs to be a bit further in. So <laughs> I have to bring my white gel pen back in. But I also added some raindrops by Little Things by Lucy's just to add some dimension to the card. And that's all I pretty much do. Again, I brought back in my Spectrum No Sparkle pen to the umbrella so it looks like the raindroplets got all over it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I do for the video, guys. If you enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. I do apologize for the blue fingertips that seems to happen every time I use blue ink. Any other colour ink, nothing. Blue ink seems to get me every time. <laughs> so, 
but yeah make sure you follow me over on my instagram and yeah also if you are from the uk and you're a card maker i do have a facebook group so go and join it um unfortunately i it is limited to people in the uk um for the reason the fact that i'm from the uk and every time i see a card that inspires me i can't always buy the stamps if it's from the us and it's kind of disheartening you know you you set your mind to something and you can't have that stamp and yeah it just it bugs me i guess sometimes so that's why i decided to make a facebook group for people for the uk only so we could ask for advice you know where we could buy a certain stamp and we wouldn't have to specify like from the uk all the time because i do that and i still always get recommendations for stamps in the us and i'm like i can't buy that because they don't do it in the uk it, it's just a really hard thing to explain to people but once i've done that I just added some white detailing to the card itself. Um, I didn't film that bit, sorry. <laughs> and then I also brought in my personal stamp and I just stamped that on the back. But that is it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you are subscribed because it really helps me keep motivated and keep doing what I'm doing, even though I probably still do it, even if only two people watch the videos. But otherwise guys, that is it for the video. Stay safe and happy crafting.